Good morning, everyone. Today is April the 12th, Monday morning. I hope you're having a good week beginning so far. You know, uh, to everything there is a season, a purpose under heaven. A time to live, a time to die. A time to laugh and a time to cry. Well, we have seasons every year. Winter spring, summer, and fall. And I've often said that our lives are like the seasons. You know, and uh, what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. The law, having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually make the comers thereof perfect. For then they would not have ceased to be offered. By him all that believe are justified from all things from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. For as much as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham, Wherefore, in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. How can he be clean that is born of a woman? Let us therefore fear, lest the promise being left to us of Entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Behold, I am shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. The Lord hath put away thy sin. Thou shalt not die. Whom he justified, them he also glorified. We all with open face beholding a as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord. If you continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, walk worthy of God who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory. I'm glad we're no longer under the old law service. I'm glad we don't have to daily go in and offer sacrifices unto God, but he is a perfect sacrifice. For all for whom he died for, he is justified. May you have a blessed week this week. God bless.